Hello everyone. Welcome back to my math channel online again. In the previous video, I have shown you how to convert between the exponential forms to the logarithmic forms. With that, I continue to talk about the logarithmic function topics. And in our video now, I will explain to you about the laws of logarithmic function, just like the law of exponent. So now we have a law of logarithmics. And let me um, introduce to you the laws. So if you look at this is the paper, and I believe that I have typed in the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation about the, the laws of blocks. Um, I will also upload this paper to my math courses online so that if you register to my math courses, you have on the documentation, uh, on the importance documentation. But in this video, I also walk you through each law and show you how we going to apply it into the logarithmic evaluation. So let me walk you through each of the law so that you understand about all of these written laws on this paper and you will um, remember about it as well when you perform the logarithmic evaluation. So the first law I would like to talk, um, let's say the basic form. So let me talk about if uh, b to the x equal y, then we know that we will have a log of b, log of b of y equal x. So the idea is the inverse, right? If b to the x equal y, then we have log of the base b here of this number y will be equal the power here, about power x. So that's the idea. Now let's talk about the first law. And the first law we call a product law. So the product law say that if you have, example, if you have log of four, adding with log of six, you can rewrite it in terms of the multiplication. So this, you can combine these two number into one log and multiply them together. Will be equal log of four times with six. And you don't need to have two logs like that. As you can join them in one log. But instead adding, now you multiply. So that's why we call a product. Product means multiply. So log of four times x, which is log of 24. So let's give you one more example. Let's say if you have log of two of 14, um, subtract log of two of nine. Then similar like the, oh no, let, let's still talking about the product. So you can write this at log of two times with nine. And the base is two, so it will be equal log of base two of 18. One more example, let's say if I put in the letter form, log of b of x of y. 
So this time, I want you to separate them instead of joining them like this. Then you will separate them equal log of base B of X, adding with log of same base B of Y. So this is you condense them, you join, you join them in one log. And this, this is you separate them using the same product law. You separate them and put them in two log like this. So that's the idea. Um, and actually, yeah, that's right. So that's how you join them. Now, let's go to the next law which is quotient law, quotient law. And the quotient law is the same like the division law. And the division, it means instead of adding, now you subtract the log, right? So let's say, example, if you have log of three of 12 minus log of three of four, so this time you can join them in one lock, but instead of multiply like this, you will divide because the, the order of operation, the operation is subtract. So subtract become a divide and adding become multiply. So log of three will be 12, divide by four, and you can join one log like that, which is equal log of three of three. 12 divided by four is three. Now let's do the second example. Let's say you have log of AB minus log of B. You will join in one log and um, this time, you will write log of AB divided by B. And the B will cancel with the B down here and give you log of A only. So that's the idea. So subtract become divide and that's how you do it. Let's say this time I asked you to expand it instead of uh, joining them in one lock. Now you expand. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have block of the base B. On the top, you have M times N times Y. At the bottom, you have C and D. So how you use the law of multiplication of the product and the law of quotient to write this one. If you want to expand it, then this will be become block of base B of M on the top, they all multiply together. So we write log of base B of M, adding with log of base B of N, adding with the log of base B of Y, and at the bottom, you will say minus log of um, base B of C and minus log of base B of D. So that's how you use the combination of the product law and quotient laws. And keep in mind that all of these rules have to be be the law of logarithmic function when you perform of any evaluation. Uh, there's a lot of questions involved about logarithmic. Um, but in this video, I just want to introduce you about these laws and how we operate them first. And then um, the next video, I will extend to the idea of the, a lot of questions involving uh, in logarithmic, which is different type of question. Sometimes we'll be, we will expand them, sometimes we will condense them, sometimes we will evaluate them. So that will be the next video.
But in this video, I just want to introduce you about the um, about the logarithmic logarithmic rules first. For you to get the um, to be familiar with the laws first. Okay, so we're done with the quotient law. Let's go to the next law. And again, if you register to my courses, you will have access to all of this rather than let me erase all of this, right? Okay. So next one, and you'll be able to keep track of them as well. Um, okay, so we have the next law, which is the third law, is about the power rule. So what is a power rule? The power rule say like this, if you write log of the babies of the number of x to the power n, then you can bring the n here and put in front of this log. And you will write n log of b of x like that. You can bring this n and put in front. It means this n, this power will multiply with this log. Let's say if example, if you have log of two of eight, then you can try like this log of two of two to power three, right? Two to power three equal eight, right? So now you can bring it in front equal three time with log of two of two. And log of two, two, which is this equivalent to one because two to power one equal two, right? So this equal three times one and that equal three. So that's the idea. So that's about a power, power rule. So let's say if you have a, um, Okay, so this, this example is very clear. So let's just give you one example about you can bring the power in front. I'm gonna go to progress to the next law, which is Bayesian formula. And this is more complicated. We call it Bayesian formula. So what is the Bayesian formula? Let's say, if you have log of A, B is A of B, you actually can separate them and write as log of A divided by, sorry, log of B, which is this number, divided by log of A. And remember, our log have a base of 10. So actually, you also can write this as log of 10 of B divided by log of 10 of A. So they are equivalent, right? This equal this and equal this. So because of this, we know that we can change the base for any log. So you can see here we have a log of base A, but then you can write like this. So base A will change to become base 10 instead. And as long as you change the top, the bottom, you have to change as well. So log of base 10 of A. But remember, put this one first, right? As the numerator and this as the denominator. Don't go reverse, right? So that's the idea of the base chain formula because obviously you can write it like this. And when you write like this, you change the base A from A to 10. And it means that you can write any base actually, you can change this A become X or Y, or maybe uh, let's say change to log A of M of B divided by log M of A. You can chain like that as well. Okay. And let me go to the next bar, 
I will show you a line on of this. You will have, let's say you will have an example. Let's say you have block of um, four of sixty. So now I can evaluate this number, right? Because you know that I'm gonna write it because so that will be equal to. And the reason because four to power two equals 60. So this we can draw at the log or we can draw as exponent. And the evaluation of this log is equal to, right? Because four to power two equals 16. So therefore log of four of 16 equal two. Now let I use a, let me use the Bayesian formula and rewrite this as log of 16 divided by log of four. Okay, so I'm gonna use a calculator now and show you. So I'm gonna say log of 16 and divide by log of four. Okay, now let me enter. And obviously you can see that from my calculator is correct, it's equal to, right? So this bay chain formula is work, right? Now, let's say if I don't write like this, but let's say if I write log of base seven of 16 divided by log of base seven of four. So how do I evaluate this now? Um, if I change the base into log of seven, um, okay, it's hard to express this in this in this way. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's use this strategy. I'm going to split this become log of 16 divided by log of seven, right? Because that's the way we can write, right? This log of 16 on top divided by log seven. Now all of this will become log of four divided by log of seven. But that word does mean, it means the first bracket is a fraction will be log of 16 over log of seven, multiply with the second fraction upside down, right? Log of seven over log of four. So what does that mean? It means we can cancel this, we can cancel that because they look the same. So we go back to log of 16 divided by log of four, and that will give us, of course, the same line, this one. So that's how we can deal with that, right? So you see that this base change formula is work very well, okay? So that is uh, another base change formula. So what else I want to introduce to you? Um, all the rooms of block, right? So let me introduce you the other rooms. So we're done with this. So let me read this and we're going to talk about all the, all the rules, all the rules, okay. So another rule we will talk about is if you have log of uh, the base B of A, you can 
change this become negative log with the condition that b over one will become one over b. So you can twist the base like that of a. So that's another rules, right? And example, let's say if you have log of um, three of 81, you can change it become negative log of three over one become one over three of 81, like that. Okay. Um, so that's one. And another law, let's say you have law of the baby of one over X. So again, you can change this, not only the bay, you can twist the fraction of the bay, but now you will twist this fraction and you get log negative log again of base B instead of one over X. Now it will be X over one. So that's the idea. Um, also, another one very important, right? So let's say if you have log of base B of A, you can twist the fraction, you can chain it become a inverse of log. But however, when you chain to the inverse of log like that, you have to chain the base and the number here. So log of B of A now become log of A of B if you twist like that. So that's the idea. And the last one, let's say if you have log of babies to the uh, um, B of power N. So as long as you see this B and this number the same, your answer will be just equal N. So let's say if you have log of A of A, the answer will be, um, let's say like that. The answer will be three, right? Because this number look like that number. So one more rule and then we will be done. So another rule we can learn about log, which is, Let's say if you have the bay is B, but the power is about log. So log B of X. So the answer will be just X. As long as you see this and this the same, just like this one, right? But this one, if you have a log, of the power here, we have the base first and then the log. As long as this base and this base look the same, your answer will be just that. In other words, if you have log of base y of uh, a is no. Let's say if you have base y of log of y to the n. And your answer will be just n like that. So this is all about the um, the rooms of the logarithmic function. And um, I just want to introduce the, these laws to you and um, go through with you the example. So you you see and you understand the laws of logarithmic first and. The next video, I will put in a lot of questions differently about how we're going to evaluate using application of the logarithmic rules into our operation. So I hope that you will um, let me do the summary for you, right? So let's talk about uh, in summary, we have. Oh, the two more log, I forget to talk about log of B of one equals zero, which is of course, because one to power zero, um, 
b to power zero equal one, right? Any base. So we have the product law, which is multiply become adding. That's the first one here. We have a division law, which is divide become subtract, right? And we have a power law, which is we can bring the power to in front of the lock. And we have a base chain formula, and we can have an inverse of the log, right? Which is log of base B is of one over X equal minus log B to of the X. And we have a base chain formula. So that's on for the rule of logs we will learn about. Um, if you can memorize this publication, um, Memorize these laws of block, it will be very helpful. Um, if you have to look at the paper and you do, it's sometimes it's more difficult. But if you can memorize and remember these rules, then you apply it very easily when you perform the operation. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video will be about the evaluation of logarithmic function using on the variety of the laws of logarithmic function. I hope everyone have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.